Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. This is Raul Marcano, and he is a clarinet player. And I met him last week as we were playing Madam Butterfly down in um, Miami and Naples. And as we got to be, you know, more acquainted and started chatting, I found out that he was actually a graduate of the Lisa's Clarinet Shop Repair School. He's gone two levels in that. And as we all know, I'm an ambassador, the Florida ambassador for Lisa's Repair um, courses and also for her clarinet sales. So I just wanted to talk to Raul for a few minutes and get some impressions from him about what he thought of the course and what he might be doing with his repair in the future. So good morning, Raul. Um, and so my first question, I guess, is um, how did you get started on your repair journey and your travels to the repair world? Uh, well, me, I always kind of when going through my undergrad, I always thought I wanted to develop kind of like an alternate stream of income, like ideally something that is, you know, music adjacent. And I also kind of juggled stuff like sound engineering, but eventually I just kind of bit the bullet and started with repair. My first kind of foray into it was one of the music medic starter kits. They sell you this like little toolbox mm -hmm. with some of the basic stuff and a little manual. And I got um, a couple of clarinets off of Goodwill for like 30 bucks each. <laughs> and we started doing the repairs on those. And after it's probably maybe around six months. I found the the Lisa's clarinet shop courses. Okay. Started with level one, which was well, in kind of rehashing what I saw with the um, with the music medic kit, but well, a little more formal and like actually taught by people to do it rather than me. Yeah. Watching videos online or just kind of banging my head against it. So it filled out the information a little bit more and gave you more details and more. Yeah. And some and feedback all, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the, the feedback I think was kind of the most critical part of the course, you know, having someone that can see you, even if they don't have like the best resolution of the camera, like, like this is the camera I use. I had it set up on a little thing over here at the table mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to get the bird's eye view. But even with that, you know, the, the professors can really help you out a lot. Nice. And then you went on to level two. Yeah. Started doing some kind of more advanced stuff and getting some more tools and started on a bass clarinet. Mm -hmm. Did a, a Bundy. Okay. Yeah. And you were telling me um, the other day that after you went through level two, you were able to do some work. You did like an overhaul, you told me, and some work for people. Is that, have you gotten some work from that since then? Yeah, mostly since I, I play in like a, a community band here. It's called mm -hmm. Voluntary, and most of the people there are not like professional musicians, they're mostly like band directors. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to get some clients through there. And after doing you know, some of the smaller stuff for them, you know, I like change a tenant cork and mm -hmm. you know, maybe I fix the crow's foot a few times. Right. And then eventually they asked me to do an overhaul. Right. Oh, terrific. And that's what Lisa's always saying is that after you know, <laughs> level two, you can pretty much be paying for the course um, by by um, getting to know the band directors, getting some start work with them and then proceeding to do more repairs, just like you described. So yeah. that's that's great. I'm glad to I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> what are your future plans? Do you intend to continue repairing? Do you have ambitions to be doing more? I mean, because I know you're going into graduate school. And to me, I think it'd be a great source of income, like you were talking about, a stream of income while you're in school and still, you know, dealing with musicians and, and mm -hmm. adjacent, like you said. Well, yeah, it, it sort of ends up depending on where I go to grad school and stuff and mm -hmm. what kind of the music scene looks like I, I would like to at some point do an apprenticeship ah. or, or at least you know start working at a shop right and right be able to, to learn a trade from and, and also somewhere that has you know sort of more advanced tools 
Because mm -hmm. right now I have, I have I actually have a project that's kind of stalled because I need a lathe or a bench motor, I kind of or stuff to um, to be able to make screws, you know, taps and dies yeah. and that sort of stuff, and and that's a big investment. Right. So so working in a shop would give you access to those tools, so you can learn how to use them and go on from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so also kind of more more kind of reputation in the industry to I'll be able to move up or at some point I want to move from where I go to grad school I already have some contacts in the industry that can maybe right. help me start somewhere else etc perfect sounds like you're you're you know in a position where you can move forward that with this that's wonderful yeah. Um, I know Lisa um, also offers um, level three and four repair, and I know that the the person that she uses in Chicago for her setups went through um, those courses, and she also offers some one on one apprentice, well, side by side, you know, some private lessons. So um, I know that that if you ever want to take more <laughs> courses through there, they're available. But it sounds like, yeah. you know, it sounds like you got a good foundation. That's good to know. It's really good to yeah. know. Well, I think after level two, you like before doing level three, you do like an intensive where you mm -hmm. like, go in person to a place I don't know if it's a week or something, a little less. Mm -hmm. but... Right, 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 right. Okay. Well, that's great. I appreciate your time. Is there, um, would you, would you say that you were satisfied with the information that you got from these first two levels through Lisa's and the way that you were, you were taught? Yeah. Good. I, I got a lot of it. Well, it's good to know. It's good to know. I know you work with Bruce, who is an old friend of mine. Um, he's not, he's no longer there, but they still have <laughs> videos. My husband's taking this course and he's been watching videos mm -hmm. that Bruce made. So he's still, you know, he's still there. <laughs> but we have some more teachers we have a um, handful of really great um, techs and teachers that are involved in doing this now so it's a little bit different than when you went through it but but I, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your good words and I hope to you know see you again soon someday yeah, no okay <laughs>